Take a look at this one I just got in. Obviously, the motor. You never really know. Okay, these are easy turn motor, right? You can turn the motor easily in any direction you want almost. You can clock it this way, you can clock it that way, you can lift it off. It's great to get in there. I don't know. Guy says, it just does that. It just did it all of a sudden. These things happen. So I'm jumping up on them. Oil's okay. There's a little bit of gas in there. Uh, you know, this thing's pretty naggy. Look at the top of that. It's just poop everywhere. It's got bird crap on it. It's not rusted, and it should be functional, I and mean, it certainly can be made to be functional. I'm going to put it on the clean line, and we're going to take a few things off, bring it out there in the yard. We're going to pressure wash it off while I still have some day, and it's been raining today. It's kind of nasty. It's the end of June, July rather. The heat wave passed. It's a cool day. So it's a good day to do this. Let's get it cleaned up. I think this one I'm going to keep to sell and we'll fix this later. He's got another one I got to owe that I work for pizza. Best Sicilian pizza you could imagine or, or whatever it is. Homemade. But I'll get a lawnmower out of the deal as well. And uh, you know, she's pretty naggy. Let's let's get it cleaned up. Not really sure what's going on here with that. Let's get it cleaned up. Okay? Hopefully she cleans up nice. Put it to the side for now, and I'll work on the other one to get that one going. See somebody lost one of the bolts over there on the handle adjuster, and, you know, I get it. These things happen. It gets old, they get neglected, they get beat up. All right, let's see what we get out of it. We might wind up with a good lawnmower, but we're going to get to this one. We're going to put the top off, get a couple pieces taken off of it so I can get in there and clean it really good. And I'll get it clean, I'll put it back on the side, put the parts to the side for a little while, and we'll work on the other one uh, that I have. You'll see there's a Craftsman that's pretty decent. I think we'll put that one together for the guy. All right, we'll be back. Okay, back to the Toro build. It's a nice one. This is a 22-inch cut. You know, to come see, engine, and nice, different. Whatever. Let's pull this top off. Huh? She looks good. Not in bad shape. We're going to get this thing cleaned up, drag it out. I'll do a quick pre-rinse and then I'll hit it with some detergent, my, my special special sauce again. And I think we'll be pretty happy with that. So I'm going to go set up the pressure washer and I'll find a spot. The lawn's getting high. Got to get one of these lawn mowers done so I can cut my lawn. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. She looks pretty good. She's just dirty. And, you know, we'll go through the usual procedure. We'll check the magneto, pull the plug, pull the cob, right? And it probably needs everything. You know, clean the tank out and just go through all of it. Um, I don't think there's any issues with it. You know, it could have a bent crank. Okay. You don't know because, you know, i got to get that apart. But worst case is it becomes a great parts lawnmower or the body itself is useful. So, let's get it, let's put it back to right. Okay. This is the 22 inch Tecumseh Toro. And you can see somebody's painted it. And yeah. They did an okay job. This is an older machine. So, this is the one I'm going to keep because you can see somebody's worked on it. It's okay. You know, they, they stabilized it. And somebody serviced it and they kept it nice. So we're going to do the same. And they're good machines. Okay, so that's it after it's clean. We're going to leave it outside. We're going to let it dry. And it basically is dry. And I've tipped it on the sides and everything. I'll, I'll spin it over. I'll bolt it back on later. But we're, we're going to stop with this for now. And we're going to go to the next project. Okay. This is that Toro. And with the motor falling off. And off camera I spent a little time. Uh, this piece here was all wrapped around and twisted up pretty bad. <coughs> so I found some bolts and I got this mounted up pretty good and cleaned up the blade. It's halfway decent. Not the greatest, but it's a blade. 
and I just you know, gave it a nice quick sharpening, just, you know, broach the edges down a little bit. I like to clean the mounting surfaces, and I like to also make sure the mount is clear. And if I have a little oil, I like to put oil or um, got some oil that's out right now. I like to oil the threads really well and uh, run this up in there. So I torqued it down with the, with the torque machine here. It's a little drizzly out. Grab my rag. Uh, torque this down. Usually I start at the top of the mower, but you know, obviously for obvious reasons I like do in the bottom. I think it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's, let's cinch this down. Go. Let's put this away. Get to the top. Pull the plug ready. Old plug. Have another plug. That's good. And we'll go put this away. This. This we'll put over here. Let's take a look and see. What else is going on with it? We'll flip it over. Looks good underneath. Decent. This unit was an older one. Somebody painted the top. It's a decent shape, huh? considering what it is. It's not bad at all. Right. Let's see what we got. We're going to pull the cob. I think the best thing to do is pull the cob, pull the stuff off, we'll get the cob up on the bench, and <coughs> we'll pull this off and we'll see. I don't think it's that bad. It looks pretty freaking clean, right? Everything else looks clean. Even this looks clean. Yeah. We'll whiz the magnets. It's getting dark, so I'll check this. Might even pull it. Uh, we'll clean, make sure it's clean, and we'll check it. Pull the bowl on this. Just pull the whole cob off. Let's see what we got in there. Let's see what we're doing. Let's take a look and see what we got. Let me see what I have for wrenches. I'm going to pull that cob off and put it up on the bench. Give it a good blow out. an older car because you know, this is an older machine because she's got she's got a speed adjustment over here. And that's rare. That's, that's nice to see. So blew a little bit of juice in here. We'll blow more juice into that. Let's just see if we can get to it real easy. Yeah, we might be able to do it. With nothing on the top. It certainly should be a lot easier. Just a couple of bolts here. It's always a good idea when you're down this far. You know what? Clean, clean the fuel tank. Clean out the carburetor. Clean your magnets. Clean this. Check it. Put it up on the bench. Test it. Now this is where it's always a pain in the ass. Sometimes you can get in there like this. Good shape. Always in very good shape. So something seems like it. Spin this down a little bit. A little loose, but nice. It's much easier when you can do this without. You don't want to be putting this back together again and having to take it apart. That's why I do it like this. Because I don't want to keep taking it apart. Keep doing it. Beautiful. Just 
this right off. And that goes here. I don't know if you can see that. And what we're going to do next is we're going to disconnect the fuel line from the tank. It's easier. But we're not on the bench. Spring is there, rods are there, we're good to go. Alright, we're going to bring this over to the bench and see what we got. Yeah, I should put that out there on the bench. There's a little fuel left in it. Alright, let's bring it over on the bench and let's see what we got. Alright, let's go grab the camera. Go. with me. Bring these guys. Put you in here. Bring this with me. And let's grab you, Mr. Camera. And let's take a walk over here and we're going to pull that apart. Alright. Let's see what we got in it. Even though the battery is flashing super low. debris there so we're gonna we're gonna run off the debris with the brush first and our watered down gasoline we got from the other lawnmower all right so we'll work that and back in a little bit see what we got going on here it's not that dirty Pink in it. This here. This looks pretty good. I don't think there's much going on with this machine. If we work a little late tonight, we might actually see this machine run, and then I can finish it up tomorrow in the morn, and I'll decide if I want to repaint the body. Which, if it runs well, I probably will give it another quick coat. I should have some kind of red here somewhere. Um, something somewhere. I need to buy more, more red. That's like a heavy-duty Rust-Oleum brushed on. That's fine. You know, it protected the deck. <laughs> what I will do is take my wire wheels to it and give it a good cleaning, a little de-rusting, and scuff it up really good before I put any more paint on it, and wipe it down with some lacquer thinner and mineral spirits. Um, before I do that, I'll I wipe it down with usually like either a degreaser or a combination of degreaser and then I use like a Windex with ammonia in it and I get it good and clean this is about ready to come apart There's, there's an adjuster right there. Well, that's sweet. That's what I like about the older units. This looks really good. I have another one just in case, a really beat up one, but it's, it's parts. You never know what you're going to need from these things. So I'm going to blow that off. And 
let's make sure this is clean. Yeah, nice. Yeah, see? That's nice. It's clean. And what we'll do is we'll tamp that out. Put this down over here. Hold on to this and we'll wipe this out. anything that we dump out of that. Alright, let's go blow that. Let's do that, take it over to the blower, which is outside. picture. Let's see what we got. This is a half inch. You know, it's metric. This is not metric. This is this is not probably not even Chinese. Let's take a look at the jet. Jet looks pretty good. Okay, we're gonna put it in our low pressure blow. This is that uh, stuff I was using earlier, the Lumabrite. Okay, so now notice which way it goes. Okay, this looks really good. There's no junk in the bottom. This has been cleaned a little bit. Somebody scotch brighted that. Yeah, the guy that had this, that serviced this, did a nice job. I don't see anything wrong here. Probably ran fine. Don't, not sure what happened with the motor burping up like that stuff falling up. Maybe he pulled the motor and forgot to tighten it well. That's not uncommon. People forget things. Guy looks like the guy did a nice job. Okay. With the carburetor, I don't see any issues. Needle looks good. Everything in here looks non-borked. That looks really good. Look at that. Tell me that for an old machine. Now some of these machines are really nice. I don't see anything wrong here. I'm going to blow this out. Uh, I'm going to run a little cleaner through it. And I'm going to put it right back together again. I'm going to blow it out with a low pressure air. And I'm going to put it right back together again. So I'm just going to get a little bit of gum out or whatever I got around here. It's a gum cutter. And this is all I'm going to do to it. I don't see anything that requires attention. All of this looks really good. Do not see any problems. Primer tube. The only thing I would try, maybe try doing, is we're going to turn this out. Uh oh. my very important thing. This looks good. Just wipe that down a little bit. We'll put this together with uh, a bit of white grease. I mean, it's barely dirty. I, I wouldn't even risk cleaning anymore. There's a little bit of dirt over here. We're going to get a little bit of this and just try to wipe that a little bit. Not really seeing any issues with that. Might have been from last time, the first time he, he did that. Okay, 
we'll take a towel, a clean, this cleaner towel, and we'll just kind of use the old nail. Yeah, that's really coming off. Okay. That's fine. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a screwdriver and we're going to go in and get a better one. Wow. That's in all the way. So either this is an adjustable jet or it's just a jet. Well, it may not be adjustable. This might be just a jet. So, yes, this is just a jet. So we want to take this off. We're going to blow it a little bit. And then I'm going to throw it in there. That will look bright. Okay. And let those jets soak. Give them about 20 minutes. Okay. We'll blow all this out. We'll let the jets do their thing, and I'm going to go grab the. Uh, I'm going to go back and uh, take a quick break, and I'm going to go back and grab the uh, polish off the magnets, and I'm going to pull the uh, magneto off, and I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to check it. I'm going to just pull off whatever rust might be on it, and test it, bench test it, and then reinstall it properly. And so we'll have that done in a few minutes. So I'll show you that in a bit. Okay, grab this. I just wheel it off a little bit. I'll put a little oil on this when I'm done. We'll blow it out. And in here, I take a little bit of my uh, Aluma Bright and I just go in there with a Q tip and I do my thing for a little bit. Give it 10 minutes or whatever. Just to clean off everything that's in the way. And then I'll wash it with a little bit of thinner that I have laying around. blow it out and I'll hit it be before I install it I'll hit it with uh, I'll spray the whole thing with a little bit of uh, silicon and that does a nice job so let's take a look at it now I think that looks pretty good okay that's clean Just get this thing a little bit of a, a wash in the gas. And we'll rag it off and then we'll silicone it. it will make it a little more supple and clean. And then we'll test it. Blow it out. And we'll put the cob back together. We'll put this on and then we'll put the cob. That's giving the cob uh, needles a chance to digest it to do that thing. Okay, let's test this up. Alright, let's just put this aside for now. Throw you out of the way. It's getting late, so I gotta move quick here. That looks pretty good. Let's test it out. People are gonna have sparks in this video. Let's see what it does. I'm not looking to fix everything tonight. I just want to get some of this going. I don't know if you can see that. I'll stick that over there. I don't know if you can see it. We'll find out. So first we're going to go here to this tab. And shove that in there. Let's see what we got. Okay, 3.66K. Alright, that's really good. Now let's go to the body. 3.165k. Beautiful. All right? She's good. So she should spark. Right, so we'll put it back on and we'll adjust it. Take the outside for that. So let's put this back on. Let's go outside. And uh, she put a little oil. But we're going to do a little 
little bit of silicone. <coughs> and off we go. Set you up here. And let's see. Let's take a look. Put a little silicone on it. Just a, a drop. We'll put more. So usually they say which side goes up, but this one I know came from the underside. And sometimes it's nice to actually pull these off because they get stuck on there. This one's in really nice shape. And let's make sure that's clean. Okay. Let's put a little lubricant on those. credit card out. Let's get that snugged up a little bit. <laughs> there it is. This little gift voucher card. It's like a plastic card, or the plastic so plasticized uh, paper card. Just going to snug that. You're on camera! Yeah. Okay, let's pull this around this way, and we're going to try to... magnet. Don't you love that? Okay. So I'm going to have to loosen this up and push it in. Okay. So, so I'm going to snug this side a little bit. Snug that side a little bit. And that should work. Let's give it a tightening. Done. And we're going to check it. Should be about ten thousandths. <coughs> so let's just give it a quick tightening. And we'll go get uh, 10, 11, 12. Somewhere in that neighborhood. Let's take a look. It's a little bigger than 10. Let's see if it'll do 12. Might have to close it up a little bit. Should be, I like it about 12. 12 to 15. We got a 12 here. Almost. Yeah, that's, that's real close. Let's try 14. Oh yeah. That's pretty nice. You get a stronger spark if it's closer, but you have a lot more crap to get in here. It'll cause problems. Let's tighten that up. Golden. Let's take a look at what's in here. We're going to have to dump that out into a clean container and see what we got going on in there. So let's get to the carburetor next. And let me put the carb back together and I'll be back with a carb installation. We'll see what goes on next. I'll put the carb together. Let's put the carb on. The carb is done. Everything looks good here. It's clean. Put a little silicon on that casket. 
we just have to get it started. And hopefully we can do that. Looks like we need a hundred hands. Be too many, but let's hold you. Yeah. All right. So before we put that on there, let's hook up the throttle linkage before I make another mistake. So I'm rushing. So these come up. If I have this right. That should go there. And let's see if I get this on. I should be able to put the spring on next. Get that snugged up. Goes pretty quick. Get this guy on. As long as I can move this up over here, this comes this way. Okay, good. So what we want to do is tighten it now. Before we get uh, all squirrely. Something screwdriver to shove in there. Just to hold it. Hmm. Like something. At least until it gets started. There's no way to get it wrenching it, really. Not to hold it. Got to get it snug. It's drizzling a little bit. I think the screwdriver is doing his job. Oh yeah, it's helping it. It's not perfect. It's a little difficult to snug up. It's not really grabbing up there anymore. Grabbing it the way I want. I want it a little bit tighter. Get this side tighter. And not sure how I'm going to get in there. Maybe a little socket. So we do a little three eighths. Something on that. I think I can get it with three eighths. I did it on. Yeah, that'll work. I actually took the muffler off, which was another way to do it. Yeah, now you can get it good and tight. And it needed that. That's tight. Okay, We're done with these. And this goes up here. Try to get that connected.
Okay, springs on. Put that guy on there. Looks good. Let's go clean up the tank, okay? I'm going to go take a look at the tank. Okay. Now, what you didn't see, I threw this together real fast. All right. Now, what you didn't see is, is I sprayed a little bit of my magic stuff, you know, the two-stroke with a little extra oil in it, in here, and I blew it out. Okay. And a lot of stuff came back this way, and oil came down that way, and all kinds of oil came down that way, and that way, and I don't know what the hell's going on. So, interesting. Okay. I've had that before, but that's okay. We're going to start it up. Have it ready. It's almost dark. <coughs> I got the overhead light on. And let's put it down on the ground. Set you up. Oh. Spot. Let's prime it up. Let's see what it does. I think it's got a smoke. Maybe it's got a ventilated block. I mean, who knows? When you have a block hanging on with no bolts, somebody's been running it. Who knows what's going on? Let's take a look. We'll prime it a few times. Hopefully, we'll get some action. I don't know. Okay. Let's give it a pull. There's oil on that. We don't want that. Oil went everywhere. I may have to use my special primer juice. I'm sure, it's going to smoke. The question is how bad, for how long, and from where. Let's see if it even starts. Nope. Let's climb it. Should have spark. But it might not. And if it doesn't work, then tomorrow is another day. After all, I really threw it together. So, let's see. Maybe it has no compression. Could be another one of those. So, another one. I got no compression. I got a ventilated block. Jammies. So, we'll test all that tomorrow. She comes apart real quick. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, I don't think so. Fairly clean motor. Uh, could be another motor mower with ventilated block issues. But you know, if I can put together another motor or fix this one, we don't know. We'll test it tomorrow. Let's put everything away. Enough is enough. All right. We're not sure what's going on. We'll check a spark again. We'll check compression tomorrow. And we'll evaluate. But I didn't like what I saw. So we'll see what happens. was I had gapped it a little too large. This is one of those cases where a business card or something like that is not appropriate. The Kumsa coil, a little bit older, 
Uh, she was about 4,000, three point something on uh, an impede on the ohms uh, in terms of resistance. That's impedance roughly because <coughs> it's AC. So that needed about a 10,000th gap and it doesn't have big magnets on the flywheel and I changed the plug. Um, so I used a different plug and I'm going to show you that plug. Uh, I don't know where that plug is. Let's see. Let's go inside. Let that cool down for a little bit. We're going to change the plug again. I want to go back to this other plug. So this was the original plug and you could see she was foul out. A lot of smoke came out when I first started it and that's probably the oil and everything built up. This is the plug here that I tried putting in and you can see I'll bring you outside and show you. I'm going to try putting this back. It's one of these eco plugs. I'm going to check the gap on it and put it back in see if you can see that. Alright, it's got a strange center insulator. So let's uh let's let that cool down for a few minutes and I'm gonna check the gap on this and stick this plug in and see how it runs. And then I'll bring it back up on the bench. I think it works fine. Uh, I'm gonna clean up the cables and do a few other things to it, maybe repaint the deck a little. And this is a good lawnmower. I think somebody will get a good uh, Seventy-five or hundred dollars. You know, I'm not going to ask too much unless I see it really running better. But it is a Toro. So we'll be back in a little bit. Say goodbye for now. Okay. Um, I cleaned it off. I wire wheeled it. I washed it twice with Green Clean, and then the last time I did with uh, lack of thinner and mineral spirits. So any loose paint. And rust has been removed, and it wasn't much because somebody had already cared for this. I'm just going to brush paint some material I have, paint that I have laying around. And, uh, it's a rust oleum. I think it's a good product. And you can see it's already looking really good. I'm going to just brush paint the whole thing, let it sit out to dry. The sun for a little while. I'll take some pictures of it. Somebody will have a very well cared for lawnmower for very little money and it'll run very well. I also added in some friction modifiers into the oil. It's a thicker oil, Lucas product. And sometimes I even put a little bit of gear lube in because of the sulfur because they don't want sulfur in anything because of pollution. But these things get older and they can use, you can use a thicker oil and you know, with the sulfur. There's very little in there. And I know that I changed that plug, and I notice it, it runs well. It seems to run a little bit better. I think it needs to run for a while. It probably hasn't been running well. And once it gets good and hot, I think it'll be happy. So we're going to paint this up. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Get a good look at it. I don't have too many runs because the paint's kind of thick. Put a little bit of lacquer thinner on this old paint. I find that tends to help with adhesion and helps it spread and lay down. So, I'm just going to keep moving along and I'll show you what it looks like in a little bit. We're going to finish this up and I'll hit the black, probably do a little bit of black on the handle a little bit. I'll adjust some of the little things that need to be adjusted, a little bit more lubrication when it's done and we're good to go. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. All right, let's do a little walk around. This is it. Okay, she looks nice. I think uh, I'd be happy with that. That looks pretty good. We're gonna get some snapshots of it. Put it up. Very clean looking machine. It's, it's got everything it needs on it. Um, painted the handle a little bit. It's a quickie for everything. and. Just overall, it just gets, you know, it just looks good, it gets better, and it's going to last. So, we're going to let that dry for a little bit. I'm going to take some pictures of it, bring it out in the sun. Let it, let it soak in the sun. And cook so that it dries well. And that's it. Let's get out of here.